What's going on, Fragrance family? This is Tyler, Simply Fragrances, and today I'm bringing you my favorite blue fragrances. So if you want to see what fragrances made the list, be sure and keep it right here. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Tyler. This is my channel, Simply Fragrances, where we talk everything fragrance related. If this is your first time, welcome. We are now family. Be sure and hit that red subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love and support you've shown. So, guys, this video, it kind of came from a couple other different reviewers. Some of my bros in the Fragcom got Mike from Ice Smell and then Jeremy from House of Colossus. Shout out to you guys. Um, you know, this video concept, I believe Mike kind of, you know, I guess started and, uh, you know, I was like, you know, that's kind of interesting that I saw Jeremy do it. And so I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and get in on it as well. Now, what's funny about this, I'm normally not like a very blue fragrance, you know, lover. It's just not something I gravitate towards. But honestly, over the past, I'd say year and a half or so, I've really started to appreciate more of the blue style fragrances. So really excited to get into this, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the first fragrance. Okay, guys. So the first fragrance, it's actually going to be an honorable mention. And the only reason why is because it's discontinued and it's getting a little bit harder to find you still can find it but you do have to do a little bit of digging but nonetheless it is an absolute banger of a fragrance guys what am i talking about coming from the house of aqua de jo um this is or armani this is aqua de jo's profondo and this is profondo lights this is my favorite from the profondos um i mean i do like profondo don't get me wrong it is a really good fragrance but i like the greener aspects of this it opens up it's got that bright greenness to it but super fresh super versatile you really don't got to give a lot of thought into this guys it just it works it's so good very compliment getting not that you know we just wear fragrances for compliments but if you do want that compliment factor this is going to be there like i said it is discontinued a little bit harder to find I did find this in my local Sephora a few months back. Haven't went back, but I might actually go back and get a second bottle. That's how good this stuff is, guys. This is absolutely amazing. It's got that original Aqua de Jo DNA. It's got a little bit of a blue twist to it with some greenness to it. Absolutely phenomenal, guys. If you guys haven't got a bottle of this, I do recommend it. Um, you know, you're going to be spending anywhere from 100 to 120 but in my opinion, I think it's worth it, guys. So the honorable mention is going to be Aqua de Jo Profondo lights. All right, guys, so starting out the list, I normally don't do this, but I'm not going to rank it, but this one, this is my favorite. Normally, I save it to the last, but I want to go ahead and feature this just because right now, this is my favorite blue fragrance. I don't know. It's just, it's just working. I absolutely love it, guys. What fragrance am I talking about? From the house of Chanel, this is Bleu de Chanel, and this is Eau de Parfum, the EDP concentration. And this is absolutely phenomenal, guys. You get the bright citruses in there. You get the great fruit the bergamot there's a mint in the opening it is just absolutely uh, it's so good guys but as it dries down you get the amber you get the ginger there is cedar wood there's patchouli there's even jasmine in here and jasmine is one of my all-time favorite fragrance notes absolutely love it and it doesn't like it's obviously not going to be jasmine dominant but to my no sense i love it so much i can't kind of pick it out and it just gives it this this not floral but just this almost zen kind of vibe to it not super relaxing but it just it has a just a relaxing quality to it guys it's absolutely phenomenal and then you get like i said into the dry down you get the patchouli the amber the sandalwood and the, that sandalwood it does kind of give it just a creamy uh, smooth factor to the dry down so my main problem with uh blue fragrances at least for the most part is you get this astringent kind of sharpness in the opening and then as it dries down it just kind of smells like shower gel this does not do that this is phenomenal guys absolutely loving this shout out to the wife she got this for me for Valentine's Day. She got the big booty bottle, um, and I just absolutely love this, guys. I didn't think anything was going to take the place of the parfum, but honestly, guys, this is better. In my opinion, I wear it more. It is absolutely phenomenal. If you guys haven't, for some reason, got your nose on Blue de Chanel, the EDP, definitely recommend it. All right, guys, so the next fragrance on the list, this has actually been my bedtime fragrance for almost the past month and a half. I absolutely love this fragrance. I really can't get enough of it. And guys, with springtime literally right around the corner, we're already starting to experience a little bit warmer weather. This is definitely gonna get some heavy use even in the daytime, but this stuff is just so relaxing that I love wearing it to bed. What am I talking about, guys? This is from Azaro, and this is Chrome United. And I don't know why, People aren't talking about this more, guys. It is absolutely phenomenal. 
Oh, guys, so, so good. So you get the bergamot in the opening. There's coriander and there's a Szechuan pepper in here. So it kind of has this spicy nuance to it. But in the dry down, you get this beautiful violet leaf mixed in with this tea. It kind of gives it this almost creamy kind of facet to it. And then in the dry down, there's some cedar and musk in here. Uh, guys, this is an amazing, amazing fragrance. It's just it's so appealing, guys. I don't think anyone would smell this and not like it. I've gotten so many people onto this fragrance. My boy Austin, um, he's got a bottle of this now. He loved it so much. Guys, it is just a versatile, mass appealing fragrance. Super easy to wear. Great for high heat situations. Great for really any kind of occasion. You can dress it up. You can wear it down. You can wear it casual. Whatever you want to do, this is going to get you where you need to be, guys. Azaro's Chrome United. If you guys haven't checked it out, it is a cheapie that you need to get. All right, guys, so the next fragrance on the list, we're going from cheap to expensive, but this is definitely worth it in my opinion. This has been deemed the best blue fragrance to some, and in my opinion, I wouldn't necessarily disagree, guys, because I really do enjoy this. It is absolutely phenomenal, and I do think you get what you pay for. Guys, what am I talking about? Coming from the house of Roja, this is Roja Dove, and this is Elysium, and this is the Parfum uh, Cologne so so good guys so what do you get from this fragrance the the note list is absolutely insane it's a mile long but you're gonna get a heavy dose of grapefruit bergamot lime just a very citrusy blast in the opening and then as it starts to dry down you get this kind of woody vetiver uh feel to it there is a bit of a you know this a like just sprinkle, I guess you could say, with a floral aspect to it in the mid. And then in the dry down, you get this kind of creamy vanilla uh, mixed in with the citruses. And it's just absolutely amazing. Now, is vanilla going to be like a, you know, just a punch you in the face kind of a vanilla? No, it just kind of adds a bit of a sweetness, a little bit more of a smooth factor to kind of round it off in the dry down. At least that's my experience with this fragrance. And some people say they don't get the best performance. Honestly, guys, I do six sprays and I get all day like i wear this to work all the time and i come home from work after working all day my wife can still smell it guys this stuff in my opinion it's definitely worth it it's probably one of if not the most wearable from the house of raja um probably you know tied with oceana absolutely phenomenal guys it just smells like springtime it smells like summertime guys but it's a beautiful beautiful blue fragrance and it's one of my favorites guys if you haven't checked it out recommend getting a sample roja dove elysium the parfum cologne all right guys so the next fragrance on the list for some reason it's gotten kind of a bad rap and maybe i can see why but i don't really know because i absolutely love this fragrance um you know it was something that um, you know i didn't get right away but i've gotten it and guys i really do enjoy it it's become one of my favorites in my collection for the blue style fragrance what am i talking about from the house of mont blanc this is mont blanc explorer ultra blue now for some reason this you know didn't really do too well and it's kind of got a bad rep but i really enjoy it guys so you get a blast of this beautiful uh, citrus in the opening you get the bergamot um, but then it's got this kind of marine uh vibe to it you get this marine notes is what it's listed as and then there's some exotic fruits that are listed in there so very bright fresh and citrusy but then that uh there's a pepper note in there that just it really kind of does give it more of a spicy kind of a kick to it as it dries down you do get some ambergris and some leather um, there is some cedar in here so it really is kind of the definition of a blue fragrance it's in the name ultra blue and it's really really good i really enjoy it um you know i think you can pick this up all day long for like between 30 to 40 bucks off of you know discounted sites so in my opinion it's definitely worth it is it going to be you know the performance monster not necessarily, but I get an all day's wear out of it. I get anywhere from five to seven hours. That's really all you're going to need with this stuff, guys. It's absolutely, in my opinion, worth the money. So, I mean, take it for, you know, with a grain of salt, I guess, but... I just keep smelling, guys. It's actually addictive. So every time I've worn this, I've got compliments. My wife enjoys this. Uh, me and my business partner, Austin, he always compliments whenever I wear this stuff. I've showed it to several people, and they like it. So I just I don't really know why it doesn't get that uh, good of a review, guys. Absolutely worth the money, in my opinion, guys. Mont Blanc Ultra Blue. If you haven't given it a shot, 
definitely recommend it. All right, guys. So just a couple more fragrances to get through. Don't want to go on too long, but do want to highlight this one. I've talked about it in the past a lot, actually. And then my boy, Jeremy, he's talked about it, but it really doesn't get a lot of love. And I don't know why. It's very mass appealing, very easy to wear, very just blue. And I love this fragrance, guys. What am I talking about? This is from the house of Nautica, and this is Nautica Life. And like I said, it doesn't really get a lot of spotlight. And I don't know why, because it's so versatile. It's so easy to wear, very mass appealing. But what's crazy about this is you would think this is like a citrusy blue style fragrance, and that's what it smells like. But there's really not any citruses listed in here. You get stuff like sage and ginger, violet, lavender. There's moss in here. And then I can't... I, you know, forgive me if I butcher the name, but it's like Hinoki wood. Um, maybe that's where some of this citrus is coming from because it kind of has this lemon like zestiness in the opening and doing some research on Hinoki wood um, comes from Japan and it kind of does have this lemon facet to it, you know, as I was reading up on it. So maybe that's what's giving it that kind of citrusy undertone to it, but very, very, very versatile, very, very easy to wear. Great for high uh, heat situations, especially if you're living in somewhere with, you know, humidity. This is definitely one that I've wore quite a bit. You can see I put a little dent into this and for how many fragrances I have, that's saying something, guys. Get this all day long for like 15 to 20 bucks guys it's really um something that you need to get in your collection if you haven't smelled it but anyways guys nautica's life definitely recommend it especially for 15 to 20 bucks you really can't go wrong guys nautica life all right, guys, so we're down to the last fragrance. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate that. So on this next one, guys, this is the definition of a easy-to-wear blue-style fragrance, guys. It is absolutely mass-appealing, compliment-getting. Um, you know, it's got flankers after flankers, but in my opinion, this, I think it's still my favorite, guys. What am I talking about from the house of YSL? This is Y, and this is the EDT. Now, this is the original formulation. I believe this is like, I got this in 2017, 2018. 2019 somewhere in there um, so this is the original formulation they did reformulate it back last year in 2022 but in my opinion it pretty much smells the same it's a little bit smoother I guess in the opening on the newer batches um, those aldehydes uh, those aldehydic notes they're kind of either taken away or just a lot more smooth but um, nonetheless guys blast of citrus in the opening you get lemon you get bergamot um, in the mid, there's uh, pineapple and apple, and then you do get like geranium, there's a mint note in the in the opening. Uh, as it dries down, you get cedar, there's ambergris. Um, it is just an amazing, amazing fragrance, guys. So like I said, definition of an easy breezy fragrance, you don't gotta give a lot of thought to it. You just wanna smell good, maybe get some compliments along the way. This is something to definitely reach for. Now, you would be getting the newer batches, the newer formulation, but like I said, guys, don't fear. It it does smell pretty much the same and in fact i think the newer batches um you know might be a little bit smoother in the opening with those aldehydics either being taken out or just being uh, way smoother so um anyways guys awesome awesome fragrance um you know it's not gonna be like a super heavy performance monster where you get 12 14 hours but guys i do get about six to eight hours depending on how many sprays that i do you can spray this pretty heavy um you know and you're not really gonna offend anybody guys it's absolutely amazing definitely recommend it great for the spring and summer months that we're about to approach but realistically it's an all year round fragrance in my opinion guys if you haven't got it definitely recommend it why sells why this is the edt formulation all right guys so that's gonna do it for this video thank you so much for watching um like i said i'm not really the biggest blue you know fragrance lover but over the past year to year and a half they have really been growing on me and these are some of my favorites guys so hope you enjoyed watching be sure and comment down below what some of your favorite blue fragrances are maybe we have some of the same maybe you can put me on to some others that i either didn't mention or haven't even tried so be sure and comment down below what you thought tell me some of your favorite blue fragrances and I'm going to catch you in the comment section. I'm also going to catch you in the next video. And remember, if you love it, wear it.